Se rimaniamo insieme potremo anche volare potremo attraversare questo mare I never felt uh, being in a foreign country when I was in America I, I could say hip hop that uh, was the first music that really gave me the impression that I was a human being existing in this world because uh, hip hop uh, was uh, a big uh, a big bang in my life the approach I have through in songs is always hip hop I, I start from lyrics I write songs I, I never write a song with a guitar but I mostly write songs with a with a notebook where I put words before and I, I write words rhymes a lot of rhymes <laughs> and we love American things you know we, we love also the things we don't love that's the problem with America no? America is a sort of it's so it's so America that uh, you love everything also the, th also the thing that you, you're supposed to hate about America at the end you love them because they're American <laughs> it's like that I'm sorry I know that you're not agree with me but what, what can I do yes ci si sente soli dalla parte del bersaglio e diventi un attestato quando fai uno spazio I've come from Rome I was born in Rome and, and uh, Rome maybe maybe no maybe I'm sure the two, two 2000 years ago Rome had 1 million and a half 1 and a half million inhabitants if you think that Rome then in the 15th century he had like 40 60000 people so it means that during the Roman empire he was like a, a super new york with african people with northern people everybody together you know with uh, all all people coming from everywhere you know and sometimes i go to new york to also to find Italy, because there is a lot of Italy in New York. Yes! Uh, Italian language uh, is so beautiful and so rich and so full of uh, uh, beautiful sounds and beautiful words. And, uh, and now this is something that I like. And when I, I travel, in, the more you travel and the more you you discover where you come from. E tutto quello che sappiamo non è vero. E tutto quello che sappiamo non è vero. They say Italians always talk loud. It's a stereotype. It's true. <laughs> when I when I, I go to a restaurant in America, I realize that I'm talking very loud. <laughs> and I say shit, I'm, I'm behaving like an Italian. <laughs> but maybe I am an Italian. So or uh, we, we move the hands when we talk, no? It's true. E l'invincibile non è quello che vince sempre, ma quello che anche se perde non è vinto mai. Yeah, American tourists, they love Italy, everybody loves Italy. But I, I do agree. Si danza, si danza, si danza, si danza. Sometimes I think uh, that Italy maybe in the future will be like a sort of big, big Disneyland, no? With that you pay a ticket to get in and everybody it's like a amusement park, no? where you can uh, see an ancient world. Ciao, amore mio! There are two voices that I love, and they are one of the, the opposite of the other, Bob Dylan and Frank Sinatra. These, these two voices are uh, the, the two voices that are really, um, you know, incredible, but Frank. Frank is incredible. In Italy it's uh, very beautiful and I have a long relationship with people uh, since uh, 25 years. I'm doing records, I'm doing concerts and so very, it's very hard here to do concerts in front of people that don't know me and don't know my songs. And so any chance for me to play in front of people that don't know my songs for me is a beautiful experience to do. It's something that keeps me alive, keeps me fresh and keeps me in love with my, with my job, with my inspiration also. I've seen scimmie arrampicate on every type of ramo, I've seen fish in the As a revenge, you know, I got so much American music in my life that uh, now it's time for a revenge. I was listening 
for all my the first part of my life I was listening to so many songs that, that I didn't understand a word that now is my revenge. You're gonna listen to songs that you don't understand a word.